This is a quick video to show you how I use the Inns Tuner app to tune my Lyre Hub. This app is a free tuner you can download on your iPhone or iPad. I like this app because it's easy to use. It basically tells you what to do, and it has no ads. When you open up Inns Tuner, you see a circle with a C in the middle. Each interval is a half step, also known as a semitone. C, a half step up is C sharp and a half step up is D, and so on. One complete circle has 12 half steps and is called an octave. The numbers down here are the octave numbers. Don't worry if it's too much for now, I will show you how it's done. The first step to tuning any instrument is to know what each string is supposed to be tuned to. I have a 16 string lyre. Its manufacturer recommended the strings to be tuned like this. The first string is supposed to be a G3. Make sure the lie is right next to the app and play the string loud and clear. This is an example of when the string is in tune. The first thing we look at is the needle. It points to G. And the second thing we look at is the octave number. It's highlighted in 3, so we know that the string is G3. And it says up here, got it. The next string is supposed to be an A3. Again, it's in tune. The needle points to A and the octave number is highlighted at 3. The next string is supposed to be a B3. The needle points to B flat, so we know this note is not correct. We want the needle to point to B. The next thing we look at is the octave number, which is 3, which is correct. Because the string is too flat, we need to tighten it so that it goes higher. When tuning a lie hop, make very small hand movements. You see that my hand barely moved. It's better the needle is getting closer to B. It's getting closer, so we know it's the right direction. We got it. It points exactly to B and the octave number is 3, B3. The next string is supposed to be a C4. The needle is pointing between C and C sharp, but we want it to point to C. And then if we look at the octave number, which is 4, which is correct. Because it is too high, meaning the string is too tight, we need to loosen up the C string. Again, when loosening up a string, use very small hand movements. Now the needle is very close to C. It is not exactly C, but I'll give it a pass because it's close enough. I find that for budget lie halves like these, it's very difficult for the needle to point exactly to the note name. In this case, it's close enough, I will give it a pass. And then you do the same for the rest of the strings, and this is how you tune your lie harp using the Inns Tuner app. 